Chillin' man, we back once again. Um, I'm gonna eat lot talks episode real quick. Um, I was gonna do an in studio uh, episode this week, but I kind of got a little busy, and then also like um, my check ain't deposit, so you know my check ain't deposit. Ain't nobody get paid if I ain't getting paid, so that's why you know of course we're going back live, but. Today's episode, I want to touch on, this going to be a brief episode, but I want to touch on having balance. Um, I see a lot of people, you know, they have a hard time trying to balance certain things. So, like, when it comes to somebody like myself, you know, if you know me personally or if you don't know, you know, I'm a current, I'm 21 years old, I'm a college student, um, I'm also a real estate agent, I'm a full-time college student as well, so full-time college student, uh, I'm a real estate agent, I'm Got my own podcast, or my own media uh, stuff, um, and I also own uh, my own skincare business. My own skincare business, as well as doing like a lot of tech stuff and building software and things like that. And a lot, and a lot of people have asked me, you know, and they told me that, yeah, you like you, you a busy person. How you do it? And I just do it because I have balance. I have proper balance. So even like, even like when I'm. Um, Working or you know if, if I obtain a girlfriend, I always try to maintain that balance because that balance right there is kind of what you know keeps me level and keeps me from crashing out or whatever. And um, I know that I want to be somewhere, I want to get to a certain goal or whatever. So you know, I actually had to make a, you know, a schedule, a timeline of how I'm gonna get here, how we gonna do this, how we gonna do that. And that's kind of what I advise like other people. Or like trying to head towards my field, uh, you know, create an outline, create like a timeline of where you want to be in life. That way, you have a map and you're following the map. You know, once you start having a map or like some type of schedule or something or some type of plan, um, you'll be able to you, you'll be able to have a better direction of where you're going. And you'll be able to have balance, um, like you know. Also, another thing when it comes to balance, you know, learn how to, you know, on this day of the week, when you're making your schedule or whatever, make it to where the point to where on this day, if you married or whatever, this is the day we're going, this is date night. Uh, this day or this specific time throughout the week, this is when I'm going to be focusing on my business. Um, uh, if I got school at a certain time or whatever, this is what I'm going to be handling my school stuff. So this is kind of like the type of stuff that uh, comes with having balance, you know. If you haven't balanced balance early on when, you know, you're running a business or trying to grow a business or anything like that, you'll be a lot more successful uh, in the long run rather than, you know, just shooting. Shooting, but you're not aiming nowhere. That's where your plan comes in. Always make sure you have a plan. Even if, like, you know, you're running a business, you're not getting no no sales or anything like that. If everything is balanced correctly and you see that uh, you're following your plan, if you have a balanced life, a balanced objective, and a plan, you, it'll be a lot easier for you to point out where you're messing up at. So, like, with me, when it came to, you know, doing school and real estate and business, uh, I had one of my mentors, you know, point out, you know, I need to start pointing out. What am I doing that's wrong? So when it came to like making sales or even doing real estate, because when I first got into real estate, I wasn't doing so good. But when I had somebody who had more experience than I did point out what what why, what was I doing wrong and I accepted that I was doing it wrong, that's when I started making sales. Like right now, um, when it comes to real estate, I'm on like my fifth contract just this year alone. And that's way better than what I was doing last year. Last year, I only sold one property. And now, like, well, I didn't basically sold, what, uh, half a million in real estate. Um, so, you know, uh, eventually I get half a million in my bank account. But, so, that's why I say having balance definitely matters. What's up, uh, what's up, what's up? Let me see, I'm gonna wave to him, see if he wanna come on.
Yo, bro. You set my invite. Let's see. Yo, what's up, bro? Yo, what's good, bro? Not much, man. I can't call. What's up? Yeah, not much, bro. I know I, uh, I know I wanted to get you on the show, so um, I'm definitely gonna post this if you don't mind. Uh -uh. Yeah, yeah, the podcast or whatever. But how you been, bro? Oh, I've been good. Uh, been pretty busy, but been good, man. Working with the store and everything. So you know, today's kind of like my off day. Just kind of relaxing and stuff was popping. Yo, that's what's up. Um, how's how's the store coming along? Well, first introduce yourself. Uh, for, for people who don't know you. All right, that's what's up. What's going on, everybody? My name is Joseph Berry. I'm the CEO and founder of J Berry Collection of Brand. You guys see it right there. It's on the hat. Uh, I also own the Berry Incorporation, which is another real estate company that I'm about to get ready to open up. And I own Castle X, which is a visual art studio complex. Yo, that's what's up. That's what's up. So what you, oh, you said you finna tap into my field? Real estate? Man, I got I got to, man. That's kind of where the real money's at for like to be honest. But I'm trying to make it a family business though. Like yeah. from my family. Like I'm trying to get something from my family to be able to pick up on. So I am it's 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 a, it's in the process. It's working, it's loading up. Yeah, I support it. I support it. You getting into investment or like uh what 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 uh part or what specific receptor? That's a good question. We actually still trying to figure that out. We're definitely thinking about getting into the investment side, but you no, know, knowing that we live out here in Florida, that's where a lot of uh, vacation homes and a lot of Airbnbs and stuff are at. So we're gonna try to see if we can make something happen out there. Um, but either way, man, it's gonna be investment. It's definitely gonna be something that we can really tap into. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's dope. yeah. Um, how's um how's things coming along with the store? I know you was, but, you been opening up um, the store. Yeah, man, that we had to actually close that down. Uh, the we, we when we got to the contract part to like the paperwork and finalizing everything, uh, some stuff wasn't really adding up on their side. So we was like, you know, what, we're just gonna put it down for right now. Uh, we actually kicking a lot of butt right now in the online store. We're getting a lot of people who's ordering online, and sharing the page, and sharing the website and stuff like that. Social networking. Um, so. We're probably gonna give about another year because we kind of we kind of still fresh in the in, in the clothing line field. A lot of people don't really know who we are yet, so yeah, we're gonna give about another year. Try to see if we can save up the best back for the brand, and we're gonna try to see if we can open the store, our own store. Yeah, bro, that's dope. That's dope. And yeah, like just yo, keep me posting. You know, if the uh, first chance, you know, y'all get to open up, let me know. I'll be there. I'll pull up. I come wherever right. the location is, bro. I got you. All right, that's what's up. Bet that up, man. What's going on with you, though? How's everything going? Man, everything's been really going good. You know, um, uh, real estate has been treating me very well as of the past uh, few months. Um, I'm back podcasting. Um, you know, I had to have some, like, kind of issues with, you know, some of my crew members. So, you know, I just kind of, you know, focused on my main personal podcast until we got that settled. So, you know, that's why, like, you know, the lives, I turn the lives into podcasts, as well as, like, you know, I, the person, my engineer, we got a whole new studio or whatever. So, you know, next time you're in Pensacola, um, I do want you to come actually in the studio and do an actual in-person interview with me. Man, most definitely. Uh, I was actually waiting on you to respond because I remember we talked back about it a while back. Uh, I'm actually supposed to be coming down there uh, July 25th because I have a... Uh, I have a pro I have a podcast interview with uh, P Cola Podcasters. Okay. So I, 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 yeah, I already got a podcast interview down there, man. But I could definitely come to P Cola to highlight you and see if we can make something happen for sure. Yeah, definitely, bro. Yeah, de definitely. Uh, yeah, just uh, I hit I follow up back with you. You said July twenty second. Say it again. You said July twenty second. No, no, July no July twenty fifth. Oh, okay, July twenty fifth. Okay, I got you. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I definitely follow back up with you with that, and then you know, bring you on. Probably uh, bring Teddy on too. I've been trying to get a lot of other people on. It's just like a lot of people's schedules been all over the place as well as mine. Yeah, I feel you on that. Yeah, it's been a little bit hectic, man. But you know, definitely keep me in the loop. I'm pretty sure I could definitely you know, get my schedule to be free to be able to come up there for sure. 
Yeah, definitely. Then you know we'll have the um, you know we'll have the camera crew uh set up. Uh, video quality gonna be in 4K. You know we'll promote your stuff or whatever. You know if you want to bring anything, um, we'll pro promote it. Uh, we'll show it on the camera or whatever like that. You know get your stuff out there. I'm gonna cop some stuff from you too. Yeah, man, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna do the same thing for you, bro. I feel like we honestly need to start a trend. Uh, I came up with this idea. I was actually talking to my team yesterday. I came up with this idea, and you know, like how in the NBA, you know, like you know, rookies they kind of like talk to like the OG, play yeah, the game for a long time. Like after the game, and they swap jerseys, right? Yeah. I was actually yeah. thinking about doing that. Like I actually may purchase some stuff for you soon. You purchase some stuff for me, and like I, it'll be an honor to get like your signature on your shirt when I like swap with you, and I I put my signature on mine. I give it, to, I'll give it to you, and just kind of tame that up for like motivation, man. Just to kind of like, you know, yeah. I feel like I feel like you know with anybody who's trying to build their business, you know, instead of trying to be like in competition, I feel like we really need to you know motivate each other to say you know we'll see each other at the top. It's not really a competitive thing. It's just basically just finding another way to be successful and build income. So I think that's the thing that we definitely start. I think that kind of bring like a lot of, you know, positive energy to a lot of people who say, oh, damn, okay, so they got their own business and they're doing something like this. We should do the same. I think that, I think that trend can go uh, for a very long time. I'm definitely open to that too. Yeah, I'm definitely down. So like, just let me know when you want to start, bro. And I'm down for it. Sure. Okay. Okay, but that's what's up. I got you. I'll definitely let you know about it. Yeah, like um, but yeah, I've been um I've been seeing, you know, you doing your thing. I like I like what you're doing with the brand and whatnot. Um, I like how you know you've expanded it, getting into real estate, clothing. You really out here doing it, bro. Hey man, I don't really like posting a lot of stuff, but to keep the page active, sometimes I gotta let you know pop up here and there and just be like, you know, this is what we're doing. Most importantly, thanking because if it wasn't for everybody showing love, we wouldn't be where we at right now. So it's only up from here. Yeah, facts. Yeah, appreciate it, bro. Yeah. Um. So, like, what, what you got up coming next, though? Like, you know, you, start, you set the store doing good. Um, and if you get into real estate, what, what you got coming up next? Oh, man. Uh, I can't get into too much detail about it right now, but we actually signed somebody our collection. Sponsored, uh, pretty much you know, since the clothing where he's actually in Romania, like different countries. He's pretty big up followers in the video. Uh, so we're gonna be doing some stuff out there. We got the hat campaign that we just kind of released as a pre order, but it was gonna be officially releasing in August that we're really excited about. And we also got some athletic gear that's going to be releasing soon. So we got a lot of stuff up our sleeves. I can't get too much detail about it. But yeah, that's, bro, that's dope. Yeah, that's, yeah. Bro, that's dope, bro. I definitely yeah, yeah. support it. Um, sure yeah, and just keep me in the loop. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm definitely going to cop some shorts. And I, you, you selling shoes, right, ain't it? Uh, well, I'm actually going to be working on designing my first basketball shoe. Because I don't know if you heard, but I'm getting back into basketball. Um, I'm actually trying to get ready to play for college in a semi-pro team. Oh, so whoa. I'm actually working with someone who's like really good in the shoe designing. Uh, I can't, I can't say too much. I can't say too much, but we, yeah, we definitely gonna be releasing a couple pair of uh, sneakers with my signature at the bottom. Of, it's gonna be crazy. I can't say too much. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say right now. Yeah, bro, that's dope, bro. That's really dope. But so, so you back, you back, in, you getting back into school? Yeah, man, I'm about to get ready to go to college uh, to get my uh, master's in business. I'm definitely thinking about taking it to the next level. Um, I took time off, you know, due to the whole COVID-19 thing that's been going on, so it's been kind of crazy as far as that go. But uh, of course, I have to take some time, you know, to kind of regroup and focus on my brand a lot more. I will be going back to college. Yeah, bro, uh, I definitely, uh, I definitely, you know, support, you know. Um, make sure you do a lot of networking out there for sure. Yeah, man, that's the goal. That's the goal for real. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what college are you going to? Uh, I'll be making the announcement next month again. I don't want to. I don't want to put too much information out there yet. Uh, yeah. But uh, it's it's definitely going to be in Florida. But it's it's going to be a university. So that's all I'm saying for right now. Okay. Yeah, that's dope, bro. Yeah.
Yeah, that's dope, bro. Yeah, I'm finna. I'm actually finna graduate myself. Um, that's what's up, Congrats, in, brother. In August, yeah. So. Hell yeah, that's what's up, brother. Congrats, man. For real, you earned that. Yeah, appreciate it, man. It's been a lot. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> what's that? What's that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But um, one of the things I did want to touch on, you know, with you being on on the, this live was to uh, cover, like, uh, having balance. So, like, you know, with you being like myself, having, like, you know, several different things going on, such as, you know, the real estate, the brand, uh, uh, school, uh, basketball, you name it. How do you have that balance? What's, what's your strategy in, like, keeping and maintaining balance in your life? To where you know you still making sure everything gets done. Ooh. Honestly, I will have to sheesh, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Honestly, I will have to say, um, definitely find you a good team that you can trust, that believe in your vision, that really want you to make it successfully, that believe in it more than you can sometimes believe in it. Build you a team that's very stable, build you a good foundation that you know can definitely keep you grounded, but also make sure you're on top of your schedule. Um, also, make sure you get a calendar. Um, I had to learn this. I had to actually learn this the hard way. I know it may sound kind of crazy, but you know, getting one of those big calendars, man, from Walmart, they only like a couple dollars. You can't beat it. <laughs> it's a yeah. good investment. <laughs> definitely, de definitely get one of those big calendars, man, so you can pretty much notate everything that you need to do. Stick to the plan. Stay disciplined, but most importantly, follow that plan. Um, I feel like if you do that, not only will you train yourself mentally on as far as what you schedule to do, but most importantly, you'll get used to it more quicker. If you do those things, any any type of goals that you want to accomplish, no matter how many businesses you have, anything is possible. If I can do it, if Eli can do it, you can do it. That's really the best advice I can give. Yo, that's real, bro. Yo, man, and I actually, I had the same, I had learned the hard way too. Like, this. I used to like, it wasn't until like really like recently, like last month, I used to do I used to do everything off the top of my head. Like I remember Damn. everything off the top of my head. I have no <laughs> calendar, no nothing. Just everything in my head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Yeah, I had to find that out the hard way too. And besides, you got so much stuff that's going on outside what you're trying to do. You know, you got like personal stuff, family stuff going on. Sometimes that can kind of jeopardize what you already have in mind. So, yeah, definitely get a calendar, man. Make sure you get that so you can keep your stuff organized. It, it helps. It really does. Yeah, definitely, bro. It's facts. But, yeah, um, but, you know, as far as me, you know, yeah, we, we plan on taking, you know, the Alexander brand to the next level this year. Um, um, I'm actually looking, like, to, into getting an actual assistant as well, too, bro. So, so that's what uh as well. That's what's up. That that's what's up. I actually need to look into that to be honest. Getting an assistant. Yeah. I just I just don't I just don't know where to start. So I just kinda say, uh ah, forget it right now. I ain't gonna worry about it. Honestly, bro, just I started with making a post. Yeah. And making make yeah. a post, like people be interested. I mean and I mean I I'm, one thing I found is you know some of the best people to work with is, you know, the best people, the people who are willing, they're willing to help you for no monetary value. They just really, they want to see you get to where you need to go. And then, you know, uh, know that they, they see the vision and that they know they'll be rewarded in the end as well as you. So those exactly. are, I learned like those are some of the best people that you need to have on your team. That's true. That's nothing but facts for real. Yeah, so that's what I'm kind of, you know, gearing towards or whatever. But, yeah. But, bro, I appreciate you, you know, coming on, bro. For real. Hey, hey man, it's nothing but respect, bro. Keep doing your thing, man. We're going to link up very soon. Yeah, uh, keep definitely. Doing I'm always support it. So, definitely keep killing it. Yeah, definitely, bro. Yeah, and we'll be we'll be, uh, we'll be having that uh, in-person uh, interview uh, next week for sure. Okay, bet. That's what's up. Yeah, definitely give me the details. Let me know, all right? All right. Yeah, appreciate you. Hey, you know, it's all good, man. Appreciate it. Salute. Salute.